all right what is up i am back with another video in the inventory component system series so i think we are like we still need to do controller functionality i'm gonna do that but <clears throat> we are getting to a good state i think we got most of the basic functions down uh, we can add some more things like more slots and stuff uh, but that should be easy since we already got the functionality from this uh, but yeah like this menu is working uh, it's also drag and drop compatible and uh, yeah I mean it's looking good <coughs> that's a bug though Ah, yeah, so okay, so I need to fix that. Uh, so, yeah, that's a bug. But yeah, we're, we're getting close to fixing like the basic functionality at least. It's, it's a functional imager at this point, so that's good. Uh, let me just fix this. When we unequip those, that's not gonna happen. Yeah, it's the same when we double click so we need to fix that uh, inventory slot on double click unequip slot mm. So this add function we should move that no because mm, should also do like this We need to do this after. Or it doesn't matter. We can do it like this. We can do a sequence. Like this. Um. do one more of these um, hold on I need to sneeze no it's fine it's fine I was super close to sneezing all right okay let's let's not do this let's let's delete this let's get this let's do this after but we should only do this Uh, from this one and from this one we should do this and from this one and from this one we should do this so like that That should work. Let's see if that works. Yep. And these ones should still be the same. Yeah, perfect. 
so that works mm. so add item back to inventory don't do this for consumables just so I remember for the future mm, and that's why we switch uh, reset help item for all item types There we go. All right. Now that's working. I also want to, from this, uh, we have the destroy function. Let's also do that. Mm. Uh, destroy item. It's pretty much the same as drop item. Actually, uh, exactly. Uh, let's get the drop item, but call it destroy item. Don't need a drop position. I mean, shouldn't I just? Is this too complicated? Let's keep it. Uh, we don't need to spawn items. So, drop from equipment slot, no. Okay, so we just remove it. If consumable is the same, okay. Item to destroy. Makes sense. So the input is item to destroy and it's the item to remove. And if the item to remove is the same as equipped consumable, and we still need to get the hard, and that should, that should work. We just Basically, we just do the same, but we don't actually spawn items. So we just don't want to spawn items. But everything else should be the same. So now, from the item menu, Clicked. 
I'm gonna put this one up with drop because it's gonna be the same. And we're gonna copy all of this. this soon hashtag is false um, we're gonna call destroy item instead of the drop item so just gonna drag up the values Current stack one and drag from here. And this should be this. Let's destroy that one. There we go. Item type reset to quit slot. Yeah, it's correct. And then we refresh. But since we destroy, we don't spawn. And from this item amount widget, we make another input. A boolean called destroy item and in this item <laughs> here we make another boolean called destroy item instance is editable expose and spawn This button on pressed and we have drop item so we grab this destroyed item variable if destroy is true if destroy is false no wait uh, so basically from here if destroy is false we drop item if it's true just gonna grab this If it's true, we destroy item. And same down here. Just gonna copy all of these. This is one, so this is gonna be one. It's if destroy item is false, if destroy item is true. That's fine. 
and that's fine. So, if the screw is pressed, this is basically exactly the same function, but we do, no, not drop from, uh, yeah, we just call the straw out immediately there, yeah, that's fine. Let's see if that works. Gone. Gone. Uh, okay, that does not destroy. Okay. So that function does not work. It's from this one. Uh, yeah, because we need to refresh this one and put this through. And if destroy is true, construct. If destroy is true, We're gonna go here into the signer and we're gonna grab this drop text, make it a variable, call it drop text. If it's true, we're gonna set text. To destroy. So that means we should now get, if I click destroy, it says destroy instead of drop. And you can see that we now destroyed three items without actually uh, creating them. And this just destroys, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. All right. And I just destroyed all items. And it works. Destroy there as well. So yeah, everything seems to work. There's some kind of issue. Hard reference can't be read. Okay, let's do an is valid. For some reason, I need to do that. I don't care. All right, that's also a smooth video. We'll see what we'll do in the next one. I'll think I'll pause for a few days and figure out maybe we'll do a shop or something, but. I think that concludes the basic inventory functionality. I'm gonna set up like, I'm gonna set up some example items like guns and stuff like that later. Uh, but the basic functionality I think is here now for the inventory, which is pretty cool. Uh, maybe clean up the drop location. We still need to work a little bit on the physics of the inventory uh, and stuff like that. But yeah, we're getting there. Awesome. That's going to be it for this one. Please like and subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.